Peace, everyone. Uh, my name is Jazz the Medium, and I am back for part two with Miss Betsy. Hi. <sighs> How you doing today, Betsy? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, awesome. Well, let's go ahead and um, get started. Take a deep breath. Okay, so today is different. A woman steps through for you. And I'm going to try to describe her. Um, I don't, I feel like she had a little weight on her, but I'm not sure like whether she was very heavy set or not, but I just feel like she had a little weight on her, maybe a little bottom heavy. She had hips maybe. Um, I feel like her hair was cut. She kept her hair cut pretty short or low at one point. And also for some reason, um, I just feel like grabbing my person going to a restaurant, like there's a favorite restaurant she had or a place she would go eat. I don't know. I, it kind of reminds me of like a um, Perkins or a Cracker Barrel or like maybe a local restaurant that she would like to eat at. Um, I can't say what her energy I'm feeling to need to cough. So I don't know at one point in her life, maybe she had a cough or she had something where um, she had trouble with the lungs. But I'm feeling the need to cough with her energy, too. Does anything about this woman sound familiar? It's possibly my aunt. I okay. Mean, she uh, was heavy and had a lot in the caboose area. Okay. Do you know if she ever had breathing breathing issues, like with the lungs or asthma or anything like that? Um, She had a kind of a chronic cough. I'm, we've, I don't really know what that was from, um, where she was constantly, like, trying to clear her throat okay okay but i don't was she a smoker at one point i don't feel like she was a smoker no i don't think so yeah i don't feel like she was a smoker because sometimes when we when i get um ancestors with that chronic smoke uh that chronic cough you know they were a smoker mm. okay it's possible oh. that's my aunt okay um Her energy is weird because what I feel in her body is I feel like something's spreading. So I don't know if she had an infection or if she had a cancer, but I feel like something is um like spreading slowly throughout my body. Did she ever have a cancer or anything like that that you know of? She died of stage four ovarian cancer. Okay. That metastasized okay. relatively quick once they um, realized that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like um, I got something spreading throughout my um, body. Um, did she have children? No. Okay. So if she didn't have children, did she have nieces and nephews that she treated like children that you know of? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Specifically the boys, the nephews. Oh, um, that's my aunt. <laughs> that's the boys. Aunt. You yeah. know, she's, she's like... Those are my boys. I had to ask and I felt odd about it because you would think that, no. that they were her, her son. Yeah, her boys. she very much doted on the boys. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of sensing that. And also, I don't know if this makes sense, but I feel like, does she have a lot of stuff? Um. Yeah, but a lot of that was just kind of compounded because um, my grandmother at one point had lived in that house too and I don't think she really cleared the house out that well, either when she okay. took over the house. Okay. So you don't feel, they're you don't still feel dirty. It just feel like it's a lot of stuff. You know, like yeah. a lot of stuff. That's what it feel like. It just feel like stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, some of it that she probably, probably, probably some of the stuff probably even collected dust at one point. It was just stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it feels like. Um, I'm getting her. And then also, I'm not quite per se getting a person yet but before i get the spirit or the person i'm hearing a lot of dogs bark i feel like it's more than one dog and i feel like like there's land that they can run around on and play on like they, they got the space to run free and plan on it play on it and just barking so i feel like whoever this person is they had dogs or they lived in the area where there were dogs mm -hmm. does that make any sense and yeah. it feels rural like it's like a it's like a lot of land it feels rural almost country mm -hmm. um It feels rural. It feels almost country. And I feel like there's a gentleman connected to this um, 
land that may have passed away. Does any of that make sense? Um, no, not not with a gentleman tied to it. No. So the land was it owned by a gentleman? No, the land was um, deeded over to my uncle, and he's still alive. Okay, he uh, there's a gentleman that's tied to the land. Yeah, but yeah, okay. he's still alive. My uncle's still he's alive. alive. Yeah, nah, I don't think he's passed away because, like I told you, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing a person per se, but they're taking me to this area. I'm just okay. not sure why yet, but they're taking okay. me to this area. Um, was it like a large enough area to where like more than one family can live? Yeah, my my aunt and uncle lived in one house, kind of a little bit of, off to the side of the fa um, family farm. My aunt lived in the old farmhouse, and then my cousin recently, within the last six or seven years, had built a house behind my aunt. Okay. So any of these people, or any of them passed away, is it the aunt, is this where the aunt that I was just talking about lived? She lived in the family farm, or the family farmhouse. Okay. Yeah, she lived in the um, old farmhouse. So this is her showing me the, um, the area. This okay. is her showing me the area. Okay, I was just trying to make sense of it. Okay. Let's see what else I'm getting. I'm getting the gentleman here. He feels kind of awkward. I can't explain it. I feel like he's a taller man. But it's it's something awkward about him. I don't know if he was clumsy or if he was aloof, but something just feels really different about him. Like um, he just feels like he's just a character. Like he's like an awkward person. Like maybe like he was a person that maybe stayed to himself a lot. He just feels withdrawn. Um, and he's not saying much. Let me see if I can get a description on him. I feel like he's a taller gentleman. I don't feel like he's very heavy set, but I don't feel like he's thin either. So he's somewhere in the middle. Um, he might have kept his hair cut low. And also, he might have had a little bit of a belly. Like, not like no, maybe not no huge belly, but maybe a belly big enough to where like if you put a shirt on, it might be tight around the belly area. Does any of that sound familiar? Possibly. Possibly. Okay. But, I mean, if it's my grandpa, I wouldn't have considered him awkward. So. Okay. And that could be the word I'm using. Like his energy feels, um, it just, it just feels awkward. Um, how old was your grandfather when he passed away? Uh, like 85, I think. 85. Did he pass away at home? No, he actually passed away while having an operation. Okay. This is not your. Okay. It it didn't really. Somebody sound. here. Yeah, yeah, somebody here is talking about passing away at home. I always get your ancestors jumbled up, Betsy. I was on the road today. <laughs> I was on the road today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm putting the last one out too. I'm like, you know what? This happens, but I always get jumbled with your folks. I mean, it's, I, not, it's not the same guy like my, uh, my stepfather, right? I don't he's remember. Awkward, but he, okay, so no. Okay. So it could be. So what happens sometimes with me and what I'm perfecting as a medium is sometimes it'd be more than one. Mm. Sometimes I have to separate them. Okay. So. Sometimes they'll step in together and I just got to figure out who they are. And that'd be the tricky part. Like, um, if I feel like your stepfather is here, or if I feel like I'm connecting to him, the biggest things I'm feeling about him is that I feel like, number one, um, I don't know if he was an animal lover, but I feel like he had a dog or a pet that he loved very much. I feel like he may have been hard of hearing. And, um, And I feel like he was at one point he was handy, like with his hands, like he could maybe fix things or 
or he had a collection of something or something mm-hmm. like that. And that's what I feel like if I like think about his energy. Right. And then I have this other gentleman over here. Did your stepfather die at home or want to die at home? He wanted to die at home. So this is him I'm hearing. It just keeps talking about dying at home. And I I'm, I think I mentioned this yesterday. Yeah. Something mentioning about somebody dying at home. And then this gentleman over here, I don't know if it's your grandfather. And also, I don't feel like he was in his 80s when he passed away. And it's like he's got a little bit of hair. It's weird because I almost feel like he probably put product in his hair at one point. I don't know. I'm not picking him up. So I'm just going to let him fall back because I'm not really picking up who he is. Um, but I do not feel like it's your grandfather, though. Right. I okay. Don't. So. Anyhow, I'm not about to wreck my brain with my perfectionist, <laughs> my, my perfectionism, <laughs> perfectionism, because I'm a perfectionist. And look, it will bother me until I get it right. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and allow them to pull back so we can do the second part of y'all session. I am going to publish. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put, put out that first session that we did because right. I just feel like I need to be myself. And I don't always connect. And I need people to see that. Like, look, I agree. we don't always get it. You know what I mean? Sometimes we we good and we on and sometimes we ain't, you know? So right. I think it's important to kind of show who we are. So I'm going to put that other one out. So, so there's going to be a Betsy part one and a Betsy part two. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so Betsy, I'm gonna um let me just stay on here. I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody and then we'll chat afterwards, okay? Okay. All right. Again, thanks everybody for tuning in to Betsy part two. Um, <laughs> if you did if you missed part one, you can go back and watch part one. Um, it's all listed on the YouTube channel. Um, thank you very much. If you want to contact me for any services, you can visit my website at jazzmedium.com. I'm also available on Facebook, Facebook, I said Facebook, Facebook, TikTok, and um Instagram under jazz the medium peace oh don't forget to watch my uh check out my podcast jasmine's journal it is available on spotify and it is available on my youtube channel peace